Welcome back to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosie UK and today I am showing you how to crochet these soles. Now this size is for UK adult size 9 to 10, US adult size 11 to 12 and European sizes 43 to 44. And this will fit a foot size up to 10 and a half inches. Now before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button of course the notification bell so that you never miss out another one of my crochet tutorials or patterns again. The material that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is this paint box yarn, Simply Chunky, and this is 100% acrylic. It's marked as a size 5 yarn, um, and the reason that I'm using this acrylic yarn is because it's so easy care. It's machine washable, and it can be tumble dried if you want to. However, I wouldn't really recommend that on any handmade product. Now, the recommended hook size for this is a 6mm crochet hook, and that is the size that we're going to be using for this project today. Now, I'm using this to create a pair of slippers, which is to make my slouchy slipper pattern. If you're making this for a pair of sandals and you're using it for the inner of a sandal, you can always opt to use a twine for the base of your sandals. Now, this is quite a thick twine, so it has three strands that are woven together, and it is it looks very similar weight to the chunky, but still use a six millimeter crochet hook so it doesn't exhaust your hands quite so much if you're using this pattern to make a sole for a pair of sandals. So we're gonna start by making a slip knot and placing that onto our hook. And for this size, which is the UK size nine to 10, US size 11 to 12, and the European size 43 to 44, we're gonna start by making a chain of 25. So we yarn over the hook and bring our hook through the loop. So that creates our chain and we do that 25 times. So that was one, two, three, 24 and 25. We're then going to work two US single crochets into that second chain from hook. So a US single crochet is the same as a UK double crochet. So remembering that this loop on our hook doesn't count as a stitch or a chain. And here is our first chain. We're going to simply insert our hook underneath the top loop of that second chain. The reason that we're inserting just underneath the top loop is because we're going to be working on both sides of our chain today. So we're going to insert our hook, just picking up that top loop, yarn over, bring a loop up, yarn over and pull through those two loops and we're going to work a second stitch into that same chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, bring a loop up and pull through two. We're then going to work one single crochet into each of the next 12 chains. So we're going to insert our hook, bring our loop up, yarn over and pull through two. That's number one and the same again for a further 11 chains. So work your total of 12 single crochets and I will meet you in a moment. Number 12. Once you've worked those 12 single crochets, we're going to go on to then work nine half double crochets. So one half double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. Now a US half double crochet is the same as a UK half treble crochet. So we start by yarning over the hook. And again, we're just inserting our hook underneath that top loop of our next chain, yarn over, we should then have three loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. So work your nine half double crochets and I'll meet you in a moment. Now, once you've worked those nine half double crochets, you should have two chains remaining. And into this next chain, we're going to increase. So we're going to work two half double crochets into the next chain. So we yarn over and insert pull up our loop with those three loops, pull through all three, and we're gonna reinsert our hook into the same chain again to work our second half double crochet. We're now in our final chain, and this is where we're going to increase and it will bring us to work on the other side of our chain. So we're going to work four half double crochets into this last chain. So we yarn over and insert, bring our loop up, pull through all three, and that's number one. Number two, and you'll notice already your project's trying to turn itself around. So I'm going to hold my tail against my project while I work the next two stitches and hopefully work over my slip knot as well. So that was number three. And then finally, number four. Now project's probably rotated itself because we're going to work all the way back down the other side of our chain. And you can see that where 
um, the other side of the chain is, it almost creates a little cross. And we're going to insert our hook into that hole underneath these crosses to work our stitches. So once we've worked those four, we're going to work two half double crochets into that next chain. And I'm going to work over my tail at the same point, at the same time, to try and work that in. So we yarn over and insert underneath that cross, yarn over, pull through all three, and we're working a second one into the same point. We're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next nine chains. So just make sure you keep an eye out for those crosses and insert your hook underneath them. I'm working over my tail at the same time and we're making a further nine half double crochets. So that was one, two, number nine. I'm just going to move my tail out of the way now because we're then going to work one single crochet into each of the next 12 stitches. So for this one, we're inserting our hook underneath that cross again, but no need to yarn over first. Bring your loop up so you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Work your 12 single crochets and I'll meet you in a moment. And that's number 12. And then we're going to work two single crochets into that point where we started before. So that's one and two. Just going to mention that my dog is currently having a dream behind me so if you hear random barking and snoring i assure you it's just the dog to finish round one we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made just by inserting our hook underneath both loops of the stitch yarning over pull through and straight through the loop on our hook so at the end of round one you should have a total of 54 stitches which will be 28 single crochets and 26 half double crochets Going into round two, we're going to start with a chain of one. Now this chain one does not count as a stitch here and throughout the pattern. We're going to start by working two single crochets into the same stitch that we've just done the chain one out of. So working one single crochet and we're going to reinsert our hook to work a second single crochet into the same stitch. And we're going to repeat this into the next stitch as well. So we're working two single crochets into the next one and two. We're then going to work one single crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. So work your 15 single crochets and I'll meet you at the end of those. Once we've worked those 15 single crochets we're going to be working one half double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. So we yarn over the hook and insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over to bring a loop up. We should have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. We've got a further eight half double crochets to do and I'll meet you once you've worked those. We're then going to work two half double crochets into each of the next four stitches. So once again we're going to yarn over and insert to bring our loop up before pulling through all three and we're reinserting our hook into the same stitch to work two half double crochets. So that was one. We're doing the same again to two half double crochets. That was one and oops, two. Same again into the third stitch, one and two, and then finally into the fourth stitch we increase again, working one and two, all into the same stitch. We're then going to work one half double crochet again into each of the next nine stitches. So work your nine half double crochets and I'll meet you once you've worked those. And nine. We're then going to work one single crochet into each of the next 14 stitches. We're just inserting and bringing up one loop and pulling through those two loops. So work your 14 single crochets and I will meet you in a moment. And 14. So once you've worked your 14 single crochets, you should have two stitches remaining. And we're going to be working two single crochets into each of the next two stitches. So we're inserting and working our first stitch and then reinserting again to increase and work our second stitch. That was the first time and we do the same in the next stitch so one and two to finish off round two we're going to skip that slip stitch and our chain one and we're just joining in that top of that first single crochet that we made by yarning over pull through and straight through the loop on your hook so at the end of round two you should have oh, <laughs> lays flat you should have a stitch count of 62 Going into round three, we're going to start 
with a chain of one. Again, this does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work two single crochets into the same stitch as our chain one. So that's one and two. And we're going to do the same into the next stitch. So work two single crochets into the next one and two. We're then going to work one single crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. So work your 15 single crochets and I'll meet you for the next part. Once you've worked your 15 single crochets, we're then going to switch to our half double crochets. So we're working one half double crochet into each of the next 11 stitches and I will see you in a moment. Once you've done your 11 half double crochets, we're going to be placing two half double crochets into each of the next two stitches. So working one and reinsert for number two. And in the next stitch we do the same, so one reinsert for number two. We're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three and four before we work two half double crochets into each of the next two again. One, Reinsert for number two, and again, one, and two. I'm then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. So make your 11 half double crochets, and I'll meet you for the next part. And 11. We're then going to work one single crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. This will take us all the way to our last stitch. So work your 13 single crochets and I'll meet you for our final stitch of the round. That's number 13. You should just have one stitch remaining and we're going to work two single crochets into that final stitch. We can then slip stitch to join, ignoring the slip stitch and the chain one. I'm just going to join into that first single crochet that we made to join the round. Oh, I managed to split that yarn. Let's try that again. There we go. So at the end of round three, you should now have a total stitch count of 70 stitches. And we're going to work our final round, which will add some extra width onto the sole of this. For round four, we start by making a chain of one. Each stitch in this round is a half double crochet. So we're going to start by working one half double crochet by yarning over the hook and inserting into that same stitch as that chain one. And then we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. We're then going to work two half double crochets into the next two stitches. So that's one and two. And the same in the next one and two. We're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next 26 stitches. So work your 26 half double crochets and I'll meet you ready for the next part. Once you've worked your 26 half double crochets, we're going to work two half double crochets into each of the next three stitches. So that's increase number one and work the second one in the same stitch. We'll do that for a second time. So that's one half double crochet and reinsert for that second one. And for a third time, we increase again. So that's one and two. We're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three and four. I'm going to repeat the increases into those next three stitches. So working two half double crochets into each of the next three. So that was one. Into that second stitch we're working a further two half double crochets and for a third one two half double crochets into this stitch. We're then going to work one half double crochet into the next 26 stitches. So work your 26 half double crochets and I'll meet you for our final stitch. 
and that's 26. You should have one stitch remaining and we're going to be working two half double crochets into that final stitch. That's one. And reinsert for number two. And then we are ready to slip stitch to join. And that finishes our project. I'm going to fasten off by making a chain of one and then fastening off with my scissors, leaving enough tail to weave in. Just going to pull that nice and tightly. And there we have our completed sole. Now, if you are going on to complete your own pair of slouched slipper boots, you're going to need a total of four soles to make your pair of slippers because we're going to layer them and create a nice cushioned sole. You'll find a link in the description box to go and complete the rest of this slipper pattern. But if you're using this for anything else, you can just carry on with the rest of your project. I want to thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I will see you again soon in the next video.